are, buddy. This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Conan Exiles. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens because we have been working really hard um, in between the episodes, trying to get some stuff. But uh, before that, I just want to tell y'all, thank you very much for all the, the likes and the so you guys subscribing and stuff like that. Thank you very much. It makes you feel good, you know, doing a lot of work and it, it's, it really helps out a lot. So thank you so much. Also, shout out to Logic Servers for providing the server for our playing enjoyment. There's a link below for a coupon if you decide to do your own server and want to try it out. There you go. <laughs> and also the patrons thank you so much for your support again it, it really it helps uh, make you feel good when you're working on stuff and to, we have been working on a lot of stuff to be honest we have been doing a lot of things um we have well you can see some stuff going on behind but we'll get to that in a second um let's go over to our lovely cooking zone area of areas I just finished chores and some other run around for us so I do the chores when I log on that way we don't have to go through the chores but we now have upgraded our tasty goodness area with the campfire grill from the G cam mod. Uh, it cooks stuff way faster and does it in a slight bulk. And I feel like I get a little bit more accurate from it now too. I don't know if that's really a thing, but instead of one per fish, it, I think it does like four fish at once and I get five Iker or something like that. Um, so that's really helpful. Uh, and then also on the exterior, we have added in a couple more of the compost bins. Um, this way we can, oh, there's some, some crunchy time still up in there. This way, uh, I've been doing getting a lot of fish, and then from doing the other grinding, um, we've been having excess meat that the two compost bins inside can't handle. So we've been using this to kind of push it out, uh, and we, we will need the future meat for other things here in the future, near future, but this is what we've been doing with all of our future meat for the moment, uh, and we'll be getting into other stuff with it. I've also made a couple of extra preservation boxes. Um, as you can see, we ha I kept the honey in here. I know we got a bunch um, in our hives that would pretty much stay full, but I felt like a backup was a good idea. We have, um, well, let me forget, how'd I get all that meat? Well, thank you, thank you, Dor. I appreciate that. Uh, we have, I pretty much cleared the Northwest of all of its plant fiber. Uh, it's like, I'm tired, uh, I'm not tired of it, but it's like, you know, might as well do focused fired attacks on certain resource groups to get a, a nominal amount to help reduce the amount of repetitiveness of what I'm doing, um, which is good, which is good. So I, I cleared the pretty much northwest of all of it. At the same time, I was trying to collect beast heads. So um, uh, that's where I, and then I went down in the south, killed some elephants and stuff like that. And that's where we got this uh, stuff here. And the, the heads I've been getting so we can get blood in case we, well, when we, I want to try out some different specs and we'll have that. Um, then over here, I killed the Goat King of the North several times, as you can see there, in the tasty goodness. Um, and then also some of the bears, the berries are in there, and I got some food from a thrall that I, I just recently just decided to throw in there. And then we had the butt lobsters, so we, we needed to have room. And now we've got some more rooms. Probably not enough, but at least got some more. Also with the G-Cam mod, uh, with the campfire one, there was these firewood stacks that you can use to do i'm sure a lot of you already know this but change get the bark off of wood and or sticks it's not a normal like a huge like overpowered amount but it is what it is um i do have another one actually out here in here that i'm using because i'm mixing it up so i have this over i moved these guys over to this end of it because um the bark's gonna go over to the 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 tanner but we use it also um, with the the drying racks with the drying racks, which we use with the carpenter, which is blah blah blah. So anyway, it's over here um, And I again with the killing of all the animals and such of whatnot we're trying to get heads We got a we got we've gotten a decent amount of leather considering. Oh, there's some tar in here uh, We've got a decent amount of leather which has allowed us to do that um, when I said I did the chores I had pretty much just gotten back from doing the brimstone run too which that's in here as you can see we have a lot of tar left and he's still got a crap load more of steel fire to come in because uh with with the the drying racks and then all the stuff we're going to start doing some of the tier three pieces here in the future and just want to make sure i got enough mats so i'm not sitting there in the middle trying to get enough stuff together and not getting it done and not having it I have to stop and like okay let me go farm some stuff and then you know come back three hours later or whatever I, mean, I don't mind, but it is what it is. Um, also, done some farming um, down south. We went to the oasis, got about five thousand aloe. <laughs> uh, which let's go, let's go look at that because I'm very happy about the amount of aloe, aloe we got. If case we get any burns, we're good to go. Let's go down here. Let's go over here. Let's 
go down this hole. Go in the bushes room. All right, so what do we have? Here's here's all the plant fiber I got. And then here is all the aloe vera, which is a decent amount of aloe vera. There's like like a partial box. We got some more seeds on those runs. Um, and then some extra uh, leavening agent and hops and stuff. And I did hit up the orange phycos while I was down there. I was like, well, if I'm gathering stuff, might as well get it. I also hit up some of the cacti. Oh, and then we have yellow lotus for, for a good chunk of change. I stopped gathering it when I was getting the aloe because I was using, since it's only stacks in 20s, I was filling up my inventory space pretty quickly. But um, out of all the heads we got, we received, uh, where did I put it? I have 51 blood now. Um, I have some overflow ichor in here for some reason. It'll, it can stay here. Also, what else did we have to show you? There was something else. I don't remember. Oh, 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 and then we have, I put these guys in here, the cockaneels. Um, for some red dye type stuff or other things. So we have a good amount of that. Um, oh, and we got some new thralls. Uh, I was at the, the Aqualonian Life Spa and passing out invitations and uh, denying invitations at the same time, but got a tier three smelter to join us. Um, also two journeyman taskmasters, which are now have been quietly remained, renamed into the trip advisors of love. So we have two new trip advisors of love and a lovely smelter, which they've already wanted to come up here. So they've already come up here and they're helping out some. That's just great. Uh, what else have we got going on? Um, I have a decent amount of, and I have been doing the, uh, bad fishies for the oil. Uh, but I feel like I'm ahead of the game on oil pretty good. So we have switched them over to cooking them for the Iker. So that's what's been going on with them. Um, here is the, what I've been gathering. I, I have left over from brick usage. There's the wood usage. And then we have a decent amount of iron reinforcements. Steel reinforcements. There's not enough of any of these guys yet. But we're, we're getting to where we can manage that here pretty soon. Um, uh, is there anything else other than what's going on? Oh, oh, I forgot. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I need to introduce you to somebody. While we were farming up in the northwest area for all the plant fibers we met someone hey bobby how you doing that's bobby with an ie so there should be no confusion whatsoever when we talk about bobby or bobby so we have bobby with a y bobby with an ie so this is this is good um they've got they're very qualified in their their their, their what they do i've got them already up to level eight i pretty much took them on most of the runs i didn't take them down to the oasis because it, i didn't want something to happen and anyway so they stayed up here but she came with a dang star metal great sword. I really wanted to grab it, but it was hers and I'm trying to be a nice person. So I let her keep her uh, star metal great sword. So that was pretty interesting. Um, but she's leveled up. Uh, it took, it's taken a little while uh, going to uh, Sepa Maru, uh, uh, clearing stuff out. I mean, just it's just taking a good chunk of time. Brimstone runs, um, you name it with she's hung out. It's been pretty nice. And I also gave her the set of armor because it gives her a bonus to strength. Um, and it looks like, yeah, it's, it's, sometimes it shows effects and sometimes it doesn't. Like, she's gotten two regeneration effects and then a strength bonus, too. So, that's what she's gotten so far in the effects of stuff. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just because they were in an area and they were bonuses. I don't know enough about it to pretend I know, and I'm not trying to, like, well, obviously, this is, this is what it means. But, uh, so far, it's been good. You guys got a good suggestion. It's made me rethink my spec, too. Which also reminds me of something else. Before we get to that, um, out here, it's now nighttime, and I don't, do I have any other torches on me? I don't. God dang it. Hmm. Well, I tried to make sure this was blocked in, as in it would match up, and it's pretty cool because as the sandstone foundation started, I brought this out with a gray brick, and then brought sandstone out and did an L, and had some uh, sandstone in between those to make sure it all lined up, and it does. Which is pretty cool, considering that we have a few triangles put in the position, which changes the, the distance setting. So you see these guys here have triangles. And then up here, we have triangles inside our stronghold. Which, by the way, uh, I really do like our little uh, hallway of not doom. It is nice. So I'm suggesting calling this the stronghold of not doom. That's not a bad idea. I might we'll, we'll think about that. But yeah, all these triangles here... So we got actually the correct offset to get it back on set to line up, which I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and then there's another thing I'd like to do, which we'll talk about now, is the Hero's Law mod we have on here. So you know how whenever you play this game, <laughs> you get to, to where you can uh, actually get all these pieces to create a way to escape the Exiled Lands, which pretty much kills your character. 
Well, uh, Hero's Law a mod makes it to where you actually get an item of power from it, but it resets your character to level one. You lose your feats, you lose your um, your attributes, and uh, but you get to keep your buildings, you get to keep you know your clan stuff like that. Like your ownership stuff is yours, but it, like there's like a ring that does mending. There's a, a another ring that allows you to use it as like a, as a map room. Um, and a bunch of other things. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to explore that, but we're not going to do that today, but we will do that sometime soon since we are level 60. And if I'm getting mats together for tier three, we might as well do the whole restart thing ish. It's not really restarting, but you know what I'm saying? I think it'd be kind of neat to at least explore it once. So we're going to try that out in the future. But today, once it stops being dark and I get rid of that little bit on my arm there, it stops being dark. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into some builder relations. Um, I have an idea. See right there on that side, and then we have over there. So that's gonna be two buildings. I don't think we'll get it done today, but I want to do a garden and I want to do a stable, and then I want to do this bridge and maybe do our our altar to Mitra on the bridge or something, you know. Because once it gets leveled up to tier three, it'll have that beam of light of coolness. It's kind of cold up there, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I guess let me get some mats together. Oh, <laughs> so many things. Right here, I've already gotten some walls done. I've gotten some foundations done, some pillars done. Um, and then I forgot to do ceilings and I had some doorways, which I'm missing those. I did like only six or seven, so I guess it's okay. But I guess I should craft up some more of those and then we will come back and, oh, oh, I turned around when I did that. So if I do this, neat. Um, so we come back, we'll get this building. So you all hold on. Okay, welcome back. The rain decided to slow down uh, and stop too on top of that. So that was good. And it's nice outside. So it's time to get started. Um, I think we're just going to do something simple first. Let's kind of get this built up to... Oh, this, are, these, are these facing the wrong way? Oh, no, they need to face away. They need to face away from me. So you got to keep this consistent, man. Oh, God, is it not going to do it? Oh, oh, it's doing the weird thing. There we go. And then are you gonna do the weird thing? Yes, you are. Okay. By the way, if you get if you get that problem where you uh, it looks like it won't snap or it only go in one direction, um, you just need to change to a different building piece and go back, and it'll fix your problem for you. Just fix it right up, man. Okay. And this is going to be it's gonna need a big bigger space if we're gonna put Mitra altar up here or something. I can't promise it's gonna go here, but we're gonna try. If I can make it look good, then we will do that. You know how that goes. There we go, and then up here. So that is five wide. Um, this one here needs to at least match the height. So, oops, okay, this is in the middle. We'll probably go up somehow. Maybe we can make it, maybe it'll end up being more of a covered thing. I don't know. Come on, snap correctly, please. There we go. I think it gets confused because with the lesser placement building restrictions thing going on, um, it, it has so many more places it can snap. So it's just on the user to make sure it works right. Did I put you wrong? I did. You're wrong. Go away. I thought I put you right. I did not. You're right. And you're right. Okay, cool. So that brings us up to the height that we're looking for. And that has a three space in between them. So there's no way we can... Oh, almost, almost, almost did it, but not there. No, we can jump up there. Um, I don't want to block the water any more than this. So maybe though, uh, did I grab any of the, no, I didn't. Let me grab some of the other foundations. I did grab some sandstone in case we need to do some more testing on how we're going to like, figure out an area, but we'll see. So let's head over here. Let's go to you. Let's grab this. And it'd be kind of nifty to, uh, we're going to need to be planning ahead for using these triangle pillars. Cause I'm pretty sure I'll probably want to cap the end of them off. Oops. And then we will grab these guys this way. We can get the right direction for it worked out, uh, the, with the triangles. I showed you guys with the Aquilonian life spa, um, trying to get the, the pillar to look correctly for us. I th think it, is it this way? No, it's not the other way. So we need to rotate it the other way. So you can see, there's no way to rotate this thing once it's got the, the foundation set below it. So we're using the sandstone to get the direction we want. So it needs to be... Uh, is it that way then? No. 
then it needs to be this is why we have sandstone y'all so it needs to face interesting it's the first time i've actually had to do that what okay i must be doing something weird so we've done the behind one let's try this one again okay and then it needs to face this way towards us that i think the way it looks like like that there we go so with that being done we should be okay with putting these guys up like that and i'll fix that one here in a second we can just replace it directly but just want to make sure yeah and then we have that guy there so we have this one starting up correctly and i think we need the points on it to make it look like the water is like flowing with it pretty easily there we go and let's do it on the back side as well it might bring it out a little far um but the way we have our build squared we really can't do much more than that so you know and i want to have it balanced so let's get you i think is that one was the other way yep that's it right there we got it excellent and then change you out there we go okay so that means we have a five deep area on that end now these ends here don't have to exactly follow each other i kind of well maybe they should maybe we should come back out here a couple blocks which one are you snapping to? okay you're snapping fine no you're not something's going on here is there a foundation hiding somewhere that i need to know about oh it is off oh <gasps> it is off minutely okay we'll have to do an overlap somewhere to make this happen it needs to be square with its build though so you can see here we do it did not line up exactly right almost exactly right which might be doable hmm we might have to have stairs come down off one side then i wanted to kind of have them almost connected or something but i don't know if that's going to happen now i didn't realize we, oh man i was so excited about it looking like it snapped that's what i get sorry for the misinformation from the early part of the episode i'll, I'll edit that out <laughs> i'm kidding it's, it's there for life um so this one has like two out and i plan to do another gateway on the outside of this like kind of how we have over here see how we have about a foundation's worth between the two and they are facing each other so the inside has this lovely view and the outside will have the outgoing view as well um and that's what we're going to accomplish oh wait a minute, wait a minute. we might be able to put a garden over here too this actually would probably make a great garden area it's not near the food i don't want my stables over here even though there is a road hmm Huh, I need to think about this. Give me a second here. I'm going to do a, a little bit of, of mental thought staring, which might take anywhere between 5 and 20 minutes. So you will hold on. I'll return shortly. Welcome back. And I'm thirsty. <laughs> Let's fix that. Yeah, there's water below me. It's raining and all that stuff. But you know what? We have it in a nice little water satchel. So there we go. Uh, I've done a tab of work here. I've added ceilings across the top. These are actually ceilings laying on top of the foundations to have the rise look correct. Uh, there's going to be transitions when we go to straight ceilings, so I didn't want them to be showing. You can kind of see the lip here. I'm not inter interested in keeping having that kind of thing look. It doesn't look so bad here, and I haven't put it in yet until we decide on how we're going to do an entrance into here. Now, I've used up several sandstone foundations to work something out, and then I replaced the ones here with the gray brick. Um, I'm thinking about doing like we have in the Cathedral of Love. Uh, over here in the Cathedral of Love. As I get there. Over here in the Cathedral of Love, we have the lowered floor here. And I think if we do a full... We have something like the Aquilonian um, Life Spa as well. But we do a half walls all the way down. I'm thinking about doing a full. This way we can have something a little bit different happening and uh but still be similar ish in the builds like make them cohesive uh and then also i don't know me i'm not into square builds but i was like this would actually make a nice looking garden setup i think we're gonna do the garden in here as you can see and then on the other side we'll do stables because i really feel like that's how that road goes and stuff we could probably do something cool with stables and um that will these kind of stables and then the animal taming pen and then also actual places to keep our animals at 
Uh, and then we can make maybe a nice little petting zoo in there. You know what I mean? Like, then the vacationers come up here, they can like you know come by and like, hey, we got we got tasty tasty beverages and and because we do have the mountain berry juice and some nice tasty the, the lovely variety of snacks for you to choose from. Also, the petting zoo's in the back. Uh, just follow the you know the, the 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 lovely hall of not doom into the stronghold of not doom into the back end there. So, but I think this also with this being semi kind of close to where we're doing our cooking and stuff, it makes kind of sen good sense. And this might look humongous to some people. But if we're going to do a walkway around and then a transition down, it's actually going to make the area smaller, uh, much smaller than I would probably uh, prefer. Actually, probably before we do this, we should probably look at the planters, right? Um, let's go to feet. Here, is it called a planter? It is. So we have a crude planter for slowly growing plants. We have a planter for growing plants. And then we have uh, an improved planter for quickly growing plants. And we have decorative planters too. Very nice. That costs one to unlock. Okay, I'll, I'll pay for that. We're getting low on what we can do. And an improved planter. Okay. Unlock. Okay, so this is it here. We've unlocked it, right? It's doing the weird thing? Yeah, it's doing the weird thing. Um, so where is that kept at? Is it in the survival? Here we go. Improved planter. Okay, so it doesn't. It looks like we just do it in an inventory. Improved. Planter. There we go. So a steel reinforcements, stone, and insulated wood. Um, I do have another stack of insulated wood available. I do have some steel reinforcements. Um, I might actually have to go gather stone, though. Uh, let's look in the rocks. This. How much do I have in here? Okay, we can get a couple made at least. Uh, let's. Oops, so we need the insulated wood. Oh, we have more than that. Okay, good, good, good. And then steel reinforcements. So let's see here. Improve planter. We're going to make one right now. And let's clear a spot for you. Takes a minute to craft it up. Can we pick these up after we make them? I guess we'll find that out too. I do kind of like how this shape is forming. Uh, we'll need a little bit more happening here to kind of bring out like some of the features on it. But for right now, it's, it's shaping up as a decent thing. Oh, these take about like a quarter size. Okay, let me see something here. now can we pick you up we can very nice there's still room over there so we might actually be able to do a foundations wide area of stuff let's try this out like let's see here and then when this one gets made it's pretty it's gonna be too tight to walk through i was hoping in i wish we had half ceilings man and quarter ceilings oh come on right there yeah, there's no way to get through that. Uh, but the cool thing, too, is we could probably come up with a different kind of walkway scheme. That's actually pretty cool. How does it look inside? It has lots of room. So we put that in with fertilizer, which is kind of what we have, what I've been doing with the composters over there. So that's interesting. So I think we do have enough room with this setup. Uh, probably just enough to make it look nice, too. And I like the, having the, the idea of having the decorative planners there. Make sure all that goes in correct into it correctly. Not incorrectly, because that's that's incorrect. Okay, let's put you here. If I gotta get the ones below it, I will. And I probably am going to need more foundations. Now we're not gonna probably completely build this today. We're gonna get that bridge done. But I thought this would be an interesting way to show kind of what we're gonna be walking to, and it'll probably help influence what we're doing on the bridge i really think it will and that's what made this important to get fleshed out now and having some good planning too i guess you need to go in the hole right now go in the hole oh you got, you're backwards behind the hole okay okay i won't be able to tell which way you're facing in the hole either so that sucks let's do that make sure it's complete looking are you wrong okay it looks like you are doing something weird so we're just going to remove you is there another one below you still Yes, there is. Okay, interesting. I must have put them in the wrong direction. There's that one, and this one comes this way, and there we go. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill this in, get the the double border around it up two foundations high, and then what I'll do is we'll come back and start, and I'll probably do a couple more things here, and then we'll come back and get this thing looking kind of fabulous if we can. So you all hold on. 
Welcome back. I'm just figuring to say hello again and show you what we're going to get worked out here. Uh, there is a difference between this bridge and this bridge. This bridge, we built the second layer. I forgot about this until not too long ago. Second layer with half walls. But we haven't been using half walls as much because of all the multiple snap points that are uh, willing to mess up the build. So I'm having to be really careful. Um, so I'm trying to attach them only in specific spots to use them for a new snap point to introduce our beams. The reason why the beams are able to stay there is I believe it's because they're intersecting with the pillars and it's helping them hold their position. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, it is what it is. So I, just, I figured I'd stop by and it will stop in for a second and say, hey, look at this. This is what we've done because that's what we're doing. We're getting stuff done like here. And now that multi-gun has added the arrows to it, we can actually have a little bit easier time aligning these things when we do mess around with it. So there's no shifting right now of stuff. So if I put that there, add in... Oh, I can actually... There we go. We can add in stuff. The way that these things work is kind of weird, too. Oh, by the way, I have made more of these reinforced pillars, uh, beams, because uh, that's what we're using on the other side of there. So all I'm doing is doing that and then removing this half wall. Which I guess I could use the stone, uh, gray stone instead of gray brick to do it. But uh, doing that, bring this out here. We don't have enough room for enough grates to make it, well, great. I'm, I'm, once we get it up, I might just change it and put like only one in there or something just to have something consistent with it. But I don't know yet. I kind of want to see how it looks when I get this done. But anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and fill in the walls too. And have the whole lower section ready so we can get the fun stuff up top too. I mean, this is fun. I'm actually... Just so you guys know, I get excited about building. I'm excited right now. I'm so I'm actually happy to get more of this build going. I just don't want to kill you guys with too much building at one time. So I try to, you know, kind of keep it, you know, keep keep, keep it mixed up because you know this game is more than just building. But god dang, I love it. <laughs> anyway, let me get this lower section done. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, and we did some more stuff. As you can see, we have got our walls lined up. I ended up having to use the uh, the steel beams to make the second row of walls to work because of how our foundations are. But I thought it was an inter interesting challenge to try to make our foundation height, which is different than the foundation height of this one, but still make the exterior look the same. And we were able to do that for the most part. Also, I added in reinforced beams across the way, which I did not have here. So I added them here as well. Um, I do think I missed over here though. You said, Dan, I missed this. Actually, this should have been built on there a while ago. Oh God, I don't know. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh God, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Everything's fine. We got this. And then that goes into there. And I've been putting a short one when it would let me, like that inside, but let's see how that looks. Hopefully Bobby doesn't mind it. It's like Bobby's fine with that. Bobby with an IE. All right, so we are good to go. Um, I'll worry about expand. Well, that actually goes into the ground, so we even worry about that. It's been several hours now in 15 days um, since. Oh, I missed the spot. Oh, cool. I can show you what I did then. I missed the spot. Uh, where is it at? I still have, I have plenty of. Yeah, I have plenty of them. So this is what I did. I would hope that it would actually snap. No, it's not going to. Okay. Of course, when I go to show you something, I have a problem. One. See how these are? They're, they're, they fit just fine there. Now you're acting like this. Okay. Can I rotate you? Okay, you'll go up. Th oh, there's something there. I forgot to get rid of that one from before when I was messing things up. Was that kind of was that influencing it? <sighs> okay, it wants to snap to the foundations instead. Will a short beam do something in here different? There's that, and it failed to place it. Okay, what is your deal? What is your deal, man? Um, can we put a half wall in here? Throw this inside of it, maybe? Then get rid of it. And then place you. Ha 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 ha! There we go. All right, that's there. So anyway, we've got this set up. I went ahead and got the edges of these up a little bit further. I think we're going to do like a, a, like I said, I want this to be a little bit taller than the other one is currently. Um, so I think we're going to do like a two-story thing. I tested something out here. I did have another ladder. The ladder works on there. We can climb up the ladder. So maybe we can make a way to get up to the second story from here. I don't know if I want to make an entrance from the stronghold of not doom. Uh, I'm not sure yet. So we'll see. Um, what I am sure of 
is that I don't like that I can't get these to snap lower like the other side. I probably need to fiddle around with removing ceilings, putting different snap points in and shifting it down, but I'm just, we're trying to move forward and I'll get into more detail cleanup later. Um, here though, I think we want to put in some railing. I think that would look good. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's a little safety first. Oh, that had two, sh two snap points. I don't like when I see him shift. Okay, this has one, okay. This has two snap points as well. Let's make this one go this way. And then this guy here, maybe we have it go in a, on that side more, because which side is which? Which one goes in further? Oh, now you don't want to have two snap points? There's a further in one. That will at least let us, when we clean up this edge, we'll make it look a little bit better. So that one's there. Let's go get these guys in real quick too. Let's see if you have two snap points. All right, that looks about right. That is overlapping some. I guess we need to roll with how we get it for the moment. And then we can also add them here for, oh, I don't might do, I need to do an extension off of this to get this doorway right. So we're gonna have to hold off a little bit on that. Um, and I do wanna make this covered, I think. Or have some interestingness happen here. We need interestingness more than I need it covered, I think. Um, I do like the one and a half high um, for this. Let's go ahead and make this cut across here. And I'm using the stone ones that don't have anything showing on the bottom because I want to see if we can beam the thing out. Because, you know, we don't use enough beams in our builds. We need more beams. And we do need some hatches made. Gray brick hatch. There we go. What's this one hatch in there? And this is only stone. So let's make a few just in case I mess things up. And I guess I need some crunchy times. Use the crunchy times. Thanks. Okay, there we go. And then we need some drinky drink. We're good to go. Good to go. All right. So where's the hatches? Where'd they go? Give me my hatches, yo. That's not them. That was my tester. All right, let's put this here. Now, can we make you? Yeah, we can. That's not too bad. Now, this one should be able to go away. And then we should be able to do this. Excellent. And then we're going to try out the ladder on it. I mean, well, we, I've already tried it out, but let's just see how she works. Oh, come on. You were snapping fine earlier. Don't be that ladder. There we go. There we, was that, was that even the right side though? There was, am I stuck in here? Not for long. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Guess forever. Uh, okay. Oh, I hate first person. When you come up out of it, you need to, yeah, keep the third person on. There we go. Eh, it looks kind of, but it, it does. And this thing will snap down through it. And since it's a different one, I'm, I'm hoping that it holds the snap point and doesn't break. There we go. Those are in. So we have a way to get up top now. Which it's, it's you know, since we have climbing in it, they don't really need to have a mechanic where we attach to it or anything like that and climb up. I don't, I, I don't mind that. So that leads us up to the top here. Um, let's go ahead and try this out then. If it'll let me. Oh my god, what's what's the deal? It's a deal pickle. You have support from that. That should not be a problem for you to go across here. Alright, so we'll continue using the reinforced beams. Like this. And like... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay. We got you. We got you. Okay, well, fine. We're going to go like this now. All right, so let's grab you. Make sure you're facing the correct direction. It's not making any building sounds. And you should be fine. Now, will that influence you more to go? Yes, it will. Excellent. So we at least have that across there. And I think a little half wall would do us good here. Now, the pillar is going to come up through this. So it doesn't matter if the edges are clean or not on it. Can I put another one of the, oh, no, that's too low. That will mess things up. Um, I wonder if one of these will look good in here. Well, we could use the doorway. Didn't I grab doorways here? Is it still in my box? Door. Nope, it is in my box, okay. Hmm, and the, let's just let's bring this out some more before I go grab some other things. Is he gonna do it? No, you're not, are you gonna? Okay, that one's willing to do the snaps like that. And this one's too far away. I figured that. Okay, so let's get this one across. 
Okay, let's get the dancing. I have introduced a good number of extra snap points into this, so some of these problems are my own fault. They're not really problems. I would say challenges. Let's call them challenges. There we go. Take the physical challenge, Alex. Okay, there we go. It's not Alex. That's Mark, isn't it? There we go. And for now, we're going to fill it in. So we have this at least it's set up and then like i said we're going to be bringing up the pillars so we have this one right yeah that one and we'll figure out how we're going to tie it into the top as we go but that will clean up the edges and then we can put you here and we might just put a wall in that one since i don't want to i'm not gonna we don't we aren't gonna climb up that way so you know and then we'll clean up this one like this And then these guys go here. Might even just put half walls up there. We need to add in some design too. I have some of the triple hole half walls. We're gonna try and throw that into the mix too. To get it there. Okay, that looks actually pretty nice. It's a start. It's not there though. Uh definitely not there. It's it's a start though. And the start is better than not at all. Alright, let's take you and put you here, put you here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm not mad at that. I wonder if these would look... I know they don't really want to snap differently. Uh, oh, that one might. Um, I don't exactly hate that. And it has a little more girth to it. And since we have more weight above it, weight and girth in it, right up. Let's go right here. Is that it? You only want to go like that. Okay. Okay, what is your major malfunction? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Let's try it from down here. I bet you that's going to snap the same. Okay. Huh. So it's starting to get dark now. Let me go ahead and get the other side up. Maybe do a couple more things and we'll come right back. Welcome back, my friends, and this is kind of what's working out. Uh, it ends up looking pretty decent so far. And I put these walls up just to see how a transition would look. And I'm not exactly sold on that height, but it's a start. It's a start. You got to sketch stuff out before you know where you're going to end up at. You know, it's just like you got an eraser. We have a delete button. Oh, actually, not delete, but you know me. <laughs> we can destroy, demolish the pieces. Um, once I put half walls above the edges of these, these little supports ended up snapping in no problem. So it, it, it tied in pretty well, and I like how that looks in there. Also, uh, ooh, how I need, I might put a door right here and then make a little walk down little stair thing or something. I don't know, just because I, I do go from storage to the lovely fishery. Um, slash cooking hut pretty frequently. So that's that's something that um, probably is going to end up happening. But in here, uh, with, uh, since we went up another half wall, I moved up this, and it actually ha looks pretty nice like that with the little supports going on on it. I have a double hatch frame in this one. And I kind of like how that looks, actually. So I'll probably have to slam that in this guy, too, because I don't think I put it in there. I did not. I like that little bit of a ledge on it. It kind of gives it like a little boxed in look. I really like that idea. We need to have that on an exterior version of that too to have a little lip on it. It helped give some separation, but I can't do you know, this is what I'm almost done. <laughs> I w did put in this uh, lovely uh, wall here, or the gate here, and it ended up working out the snapping to the bottom of this without a problem really. Uh, the only problem is we, well, maybe if we did come down a partial, we could make that happen. And since I'm using the the green, um, the tiled insulated wood uh, roofs and stuff like that, maybe we can have a little roof come down over that or something and then have a transition over to this or whatnot. I don't know just yet, but I think that was up too high personally. I think that's a little bit better. We need better good separation from the, the, oh, well, the stronghold of not doom. So, um, yeah, I think that's all right. Oh, and I added these guys in. Um, without the wood borders that looks nice and clean and like, when they're by themselves they're amazing uh, when they're next to each other it, back and forth back and forth it looks kind of bad uh, but it could be worse it could be worse i'm not gonna complain uh, just just saying what it is it's not that's not complaining complain like man this thing sucks you know we're not doing that uh 
just in case you're wondering um so anyway i think we're actually out of time today we've been doing a lot of work i uh, hope you guys see the work we've done because you know with all the stuff at the beginning i didn't realize it probably took a while to show you where we were to get caught up so i don't know if you guys are interested in the information or not in between what's going on between episodes but i'd like to at least keep you informed but i think we've got a good start we have figured out what that spot's going to be for we know what we're going to do on the other side of the stronghold of not doom and then maybe over here we can add like a like a, a small like house build or something or uh, some sort of thing to balance out the side just so it looks pretty good together. But, you know, I'm having a good time. Hopefully you guys are having a good time, too. Again, thank you for all the support of the videos. It is very much appreciated. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.